Hi guys, it's Lily Loves Apothecary and we're going to talk about a little mixture I made in a teeny tiny jar so that I can keep it in the fridge and not let it spoil with argireline and ceramides for around the eye area and I think it's really helping with this expression line. I don't know, maybe you could tell me. Let's discuss. What do you think of my little jingle at the beginning of my little bumper? This goes, ah. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> You know, it's like, oh, like the, the holy grail moment. You know, the holy grail, your HG cosmetic pro product. You get it? Darling, Slee Lums Apotheca. We're going to talk about a little mixture I made in this little teeny tiny 0.25% container of Argyroline, which is like the topical Botox. Not exactly, but it's, it's it works. Ceramides and uh, some rosehip seed oil that I mixed in and it seems to be working pretty well. I think it, I'm finding a difference on my expression line as you know I always lift my eyebrows up maybe you can tell a difference I can I don't know. I've purchased this ceramide complex one of you Yvette Muniz. Muniz help me you were telling me I've got to try the ceramide complex and how it was filling in your lines and uh, how awesome it was and then I was like yeah I haven't tried it yet and now oh, I finally did but I'm making little bitty little bitty uh, containers of it so I'm not not really doing the percentages correct because you're supposed to do five percent I mean this is a complex that says one topical typical use level is one to five percent of this in your formula and I'm doing more like 30 it's like a Skin identical lipid concentrate, which restores protective barrier function of the skin, consists of a multi lamellar system with ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, photophingosine that resembles the structure of the lipid barrier of your skin. This may lower the viscosity of the aqueous phase when adding to existing emulsions. So if you add it to a cream they already have, it might make it a little more liquidy which actually is kind of what I experienced. So what I did, let's do it again. All right, so this is just a teeny container. I'm pouring like half of this with the, my rosehip seed oil from Mountain Rose Herbs. And then even though it says one to 15%, I'm putting more in it, this, cause it's such a small container, but I want just a little, you know, I wanted to test out smaller amounts. It looks like, Tapioca. <laughs> it's um, a little semen like. Let's see. see. It's like a lotion, you could say. So I put a little dollop in there. Totally haphazard, guys. Sorry, I'm not really measuring. You could really use less. Since it's just, I just bought a one full ounce of this. I posted a, a recipe, which is on their site making cosmetics. Then I put my Argyroline, which they have there as well. I got this one from an Etsy shop though, which got from Lotion Crafters. So there's multiple places where you can get those. And then I just shook it up. So the ceramides and the Argyroline, these peptides, that, that's where you put in the cooling off phase of making stuff. So what I did is I just, I heated it up a little bit. If it's not mixing very nice under hot water, and I shake it or I uh, percussive mixing against my hand. It's kind of a creamy. I just use a little bit like that. It's like a creamy, very, um, the ceramides do make it very, not very gel like. So I just put that into my eye and I've been putting it on this line here, as I was saying, and I think I'm seeing a difference. I, I'm seeing a difference. Well, I'm like, ugh, ugh. Since I've been doing consistent, it's consistently, it's been maybe two months. And I, I'm, I, I don't, I have no idea if it's working right here. I still, you know, it's not, it feels and plumps up and that might be just the ceramides, but the Argyroline, the only place I can really tell if it's maybe making a difference is on that expression line. Okay, enough said. I'm really into that making cos the making cosmetics site. They've got some cool things. You just put put some ingredients. I mean, they're not 
non-preservative, but you can kind of mix and match, and, and uh, they've got some recipes, which is pretty nice, I think. I feel it tingling, you know, under there, which who knows what that means. Maybe it's because I have such a high concentration. I'll give you their, their exact ingredients, okay? Instructions. A little more rosehip seed oil. Sometimes I have to put a little more of that in to make it mix nicely. Does that help? I hope that this is, so this has been what I've been using under my eyes. So thank you, Yvette, for that recommendation. The ceramides I, I think are worth checking out. Definitely into lipid barriers that are similar to the oils that you already have in your skin. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know any comments or if you have you know had better experience with other formulas. I'll read the comments, you guys. There's always an interesting things to read there. Thank you. Bye.